Good morning on this once again winter-like morning. I'm Nikki Stanzio. And I'm Kristen Van Dyke. And this is New Mexico style. We got a little tease at the mm -hmm. end of winter into spring. And now that yes. it's spring, we're back to winter. What's going on? Of course. On? I know. The first half of the weekend was spring and the second half was just brutal Ugh. with the wind. And now it's so cold. Oh, yesterday was treacherous. I mean, I was woken up. I know a lot of people on Facebook were talking about how oh, everybody gosh. got woken up by that windy sound. It sounded violent and angry. And mm -hmm. I just, I am, you know, I'm just not a fan of the wind. Don't no, like it. and there were so many trees down. There were signs down. Mm -hmm. Did you see the big sign? I saw it. The billboard. The billboard that was down in uh, in Albuquerque, and so it was just roughly 72 mile an hour winds. It's crazy. The winds are gone. Now we have the cold. We're tracking snow. We probably won't see much snow here, but I'll talk more about that coming up in a moment. But yeah. it is. It was, it's been brutal. It's been pretty complaint. bad, but it'll get better. And it'll and work. I'm actually uh, later this week. I won't be here on Friday. I'm actually going to Miami to see Ooh. my family. Yeah, I'm so excited. You know, it's weird because when you're around your parents all the time, and you know, you and I have talked about this. When you're around your family all the time you sometimes just feel like you need a break but when you're away mm. from them you need that family fix and I you really do. need a family fix so I cannot wait to see uh, them. that it'll be yeah. good to see family and now imagine if your family consisted of several husbands that'd be weird right that would be strange. <laughs> well, a Queens New York woman was rejected for a marriage license because as it turns out she already has four husbands. Now, one of them lives in Mexico. Another one lives in Ecuador. Wow. Yeah. Talk about <laughs> secret stashes. But yeah. no, that's not really how it is. It's bizarre. It is bizarre. According to the New York Post, scammers actually used her birth certificate, <laughs> which she lost 16 years ago, to arrange fake marriages. Vargas and her real husband married in another jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. Well, or they would allow it, even though there was all that going on, while that legal mess was kind of really <laughs> sorted out. It's really bizarre. And you know, the thing is, the fraudulent marriages have been nullified, but her identity theft fiasco is not over, although she's still trying to avoid yet another Another marriage that recently cropped up. I mean, this is kind of a drag. She could have landed in jail for this. I mean, that's not mm -hmm. allowable by legal rights. You can't have four spouses at once. Can you imagine having one in a different country? Oh my gosh. Can you just, I mean, well, when I go to Mexico, I'll see my husband so and so. Back in Ecuador, <laughs> my husband so and so has right. this. I mean, that is I just don't know. Crazy. Might be the perfect life. <laughs> it might be. Yeah. Hey, you yeah. never, at least we don't even have one, so you yeah. never know. <laughs> Let's check in with KRQE News 13 anchor Elizabeth Alvarez with this morning's headlines. Oh, honey, one is plenty. Uh, <laughs> I hear ya. Good morning to you, ladies, and good morning to you at home. Top of your morning news headlines this Monday morning. Right now, electric crews are working to restore power to thousands of homes and businesses across the state. About 16, or excuse me, 600 people here in Albuquerque are still without power due to the wild winds from yesterday. The winds were so strong, it knocked down power lines all over the metro area. And in the East Mountains, a couple thousand customers there are still affected as well. Now, at the height of Sunday's wild storm, about 33,000 PNM customers lost power. Crews worked nonstop to get some of the power back on. The PNM website actually states that they expect to have power restored by midday today. Now you can find a link to the PNM Twitter and Facebook sites through our homepage at krqe.com. Scott Owens, the man acquitted in a deadly drunk driving crash three years ago, is set to be back in court this morning. He's accused of driving drunk again. Cops say they pulled Owens over Saturday morning for speeding near uh, Silver and Cerrillos Road in Santa Fe. They say he failed field sobriety tests, so they arrested him. Now, they say that he also refused to take a breathalyzer test. And you might remember, back in 2009, Owens was involved in a crash that killed four teens on Old Las Vegas Highway. That's the footage from that scene. He actually admitted to drinking that night, but last April, the jury found him not guilty for those deaths. We know that the community was affected severely by the loss of those teenagers, so it makes you kind of ponder whether or not he took that to the degree that it affected him as well. Owens is now charged with aggravated DWI and speeding. You can count on us, of course, to follow his case through the, through the judicial system. And the man accused of stealing a school bus and leading police on a wild chase will need a lot of cash this morning if he wants to bond out of jail. Nathaniel Shipman 
faced a judge yesterday on a number of crimes he's charged with, including aggravated assault on a police officer with a deadly weapon. Now, a little more than a week ago, cops say Shipman stole a school bus and led authorities on a wild chase down I-40. How can you forget this? This is actual footage of that chase. A deputy shot him after he apparently refused to get out and was seen reportedly reaching down for something. Shipman had been recovering in the hospital ever since, but yesterday he finally went before a judge who set his bond, by the way, at $32,000. All right, in national news, the lawyer for the Army sergeant accused of randomly killing 16 civilians in Afghanistan plans to meet with his client face-to-face -face today. Right now, Staff Sergeant Robert Bales is isolated in a jail at Fort Leavenworth in Kansas. His attorney says if he, he doesn't know if Bales was, in fact, suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder at the time of the shootings. If so, he says, it could be a big issue if he goes to trial. The Staff Sergeant has not yet officially been charged. The first commercial flight to space from Spaceport America is set to take off sometime next year. The spaceport isn't quite finished, but the agency that oversees it says it is ready for the first launch. Here's News 13's Amanda Goodman with the story. We're almost done, and it's very exciting to see everything coming together. After years of work and 200 million of your money, Spaceport America is near completion. The Virgin Galactic hangar was dedicated last October with a spectacular display by Sir Richard Branson. Spaceport Authority Executive Director Chris Anderson says they've finished all the infrastructure for the spaceport, and now it's time for phase two. Now's the time to focus on how do you operate? How do you operate a commercial space? And of course, nobody's done this before, so uh, we're hiring a number of um, uh, contractors to help us figure that out. Anderson says they've had a number of companies submit proposals to take on the job. It will be a while before anyone is chosen, though. In the meantime, the Spaceport Authority is also looking at educational opportunities and ways to attract those who might not be able to afford the hefty spaceflight price tag, $200,000 a ticket. For that, they're looking at building a visitor center at the spaceport. We want people that may not be able to fly on a spacecraft to also experience space in some manner and have a great time when they come out there. They're also trying to court more customers. Virgin Galactic is the anchor tenant, but in order for the spaceport to get off the taxpayer dime, it needs to have more businesses calling it home. This next 12 months is very key to trying to get more, more customers. We want this to be a very vibrant spaceport, and it is to be self-supporting. Amanda Goodman, KRQE News 13. By the way, the first commercial space flight from Spaceport is set for next year, as I mentioned, and the people who run it hope that the Spaceport can pay for itself by 2014. And that wraps it up for your Monday morning headlines. Be sure to catch Matt Morrow, Kristen Van Dyke, and myself every weekday morning beginning at 4.30 a.m. on KRQE News 13. Ladies, I'm going to send it back to you. How exciting is this, though? It's so uh, a cool. trip to space. you got to have 200 grand for it. But yeah, I don't yeah. have that wow, much sitting right? around, but that is a very cool opportunity. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, yeah. as always, Miss Elizabeth. You're welcome. <laughs> and okay, as we get into the new week, we have to give you a little bit of the Hollywood gossip mm -hmm. this morning. TMZ is reporting that Lindsay Lohan is done gambling with her freedom. She put herself on lockdown after another bout with trouble. You may remember we said last week mm -hmm. that a club goer claimed that Lilo hit him with her car in Hollywood. Right. The latest incident, of course, prompted people to close, people really close to Lindsay to beg her to stop going out at night until her probation <laughs> is over. Gosh, you would think they wouldn't have to beg her to do right? that. But we're told Lindsay will agree, and or has agreed, and will now only leave her house when she really has to. Her mm -hmm. probation is scheduled to end March 29th. All right, well, good for her. Sounds like she's at least trying to be more responsible. Uh, she keeps trying, and it lasts for a few days, it seems like, and then she's back to her old ways. But maybe she, can just, she doesn't have that much farther to go. No, just a little longer. Just Hang do in it. There. Just try. <laughs> Hang in there. Poor thing. Now, yeah. somebody who always seems to stay on the right track is Jennifer Aniston. She's she's a pretty good girl, I think. You, mm -hmm. I, I would call her that. She was actually spotted in New York City wearing a dazzling piece of bling. Uh -oh. Now, that has led to some speculation that her actor beau, Justin Theroux, has popped the question. Mm -hmm. the Hub yeah, the Huffington Post is reporting that the 43-year-old actress told a friend that Thoreau was the one. Mm. And that it's only a matter of time until they tie the knot. Uh-oh. <gasps> Good for uh -oh. her. I think that's exciting. I mean, yeah. hopefully. So we don't know for sure if it's a wedding ring or not or engagement ring. But 
Yeah, who knows? Maybe. You know, this is a perfect example of a couple, like when you looked at her and Brad and everybody mm -hmm. thought they were the perfect couple and they were yeah. together quite a while. It was a perfect example of sometimes you think you're in the right situation and then everybody in the whole world was so upset when he left for oh, Angelina. Right. But you know what, he's been very happy with her. They've yes. been doing really well together. She might be very happy if she's calling this guy the one. You know, maybe sometimes things are meant to be as they are. You That's just true. never know. You never know. You never know. Hey, by the way, I just wanted to mention real quick before we talk about the weather, I don't know if you saw that Gaga interview last night with Oprah on OWN. I need to go back and watch the first half. I only watched the second half, but Stephanie, who's Lady Gaga, of course, had an interview in her mom's kitchen with Oprah, and it was so interesting. I just, she was so down to earth, so open, so vulnerable, so real. I loved it. So I just, <laughs> if you if you like Lady Gaga, or even if you don't, yeah, this would be an interesting, interesting. thing. Mm -hmm. It does sound good. Yeah, you could probably watch it again on OWN. I'm sure it'll repeat, or you can probably at least mm -hmm. go to YouTube and see it. I, I mean, it was just really interesting to see her talk about where all of the craziness comes from, and, and how even with her fame and fortune and all the notoriety and love that she receives, how she often feels like she's not good enough. I think oh, that's interesting. Interesting. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, and the weather's definitely not good enough today. Oh, no. The, we're back to the winter-like weather. You'll need yeah. the jackets all day long. We really won't warm much from where we are right now.